a warm welcome to our weekly service. I'm Brain Magazire, Methodist Minister in Stratclyde Circuit here in Scotland. I'm inviting you to a time of worship to celebrate the gift of life and the hope found in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Eternal and loving God, we come to you in humility to thank you for the gift of life and the many other blessings we receive from you. We are grateful to be in your presence where we can hear the word of life and experience the renewal and strengthening of our faith. Bless our time of worship as we seek to understand your will for our lives and respond to your call accordingly. Master, we acknowledge that you are the potter and that we are the clay. Mold us and fashion us according to your will and to your purpose so that we can become the kind of people that you intended us to be. Inspire us. Speak to us. Give us hope now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us listen to hymn 363 from Singing the Faith. Shout to the Lord. Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is not like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength let every breath all that i am never cease to worship you shout to the lord of the earth let us sing power and majesty praise to the king Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have. In you My Jesus My Savior Lord there is not Like you All of my days I want to praise The wonders of your Mighty Love My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord of the earth, let us sing. bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I to the Lord of the earth, let us 
And now listen to the first two scriptures being read. The first one comes from Joshua chapter 20 verses 1 to 9 and the second one from Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Joshua Chapter 20, verses 1 to 9. Cities of Refuge. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge as I instructed you through Moses, so that anyone who kills a person accidentally and unintentionally may flee there and find protection from the avenger of blood. When he flees to one of these cities, he is to stand in the entrance of the city gate and state his case before the elders of that city. Then they are to admit him into their city and give him a place to live with them. If the avenger of blood pursues him, they must not surrender the one accused, because he killed his neighbour unintentionally and without malice aforethought. He is to stay in that city until he has stood trial before the assembly and until the death of the high priest who is serving at that time. Then he may go back to his own home in the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. On the east side of the Jordan of Jericho, they designated Bezer in the desert on the plateau in the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth in Gilead, in the tribe of Gad and Golan in Bashan in the tribe of Manasseh. Any of the Israelites or any alien living among them who killed someone accidentally could flee to these designated cities and not be killed by the avenger of blood prior to standing trial before the assembly. Proverbs 18 verse 10 The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. I'll be speaking on the subject entitled Jesus is our place of refuge. Jesus is our place of refuge. I've been living in the United Kingdom for slightly over two decades and I've seen people from many parts of the world who have come either to work and others to settle here as refugees. According to the United Nations refugee agents, there were about 232,000 refugees at the end of November 2022 and another 127,000 pending asylum cases, which means that the United Kingdom has become a home for many, many 
refugees. Who is a refugee? A refugee is someone who, owing to a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of either race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion, is outside of country of the nationality, of their nationality, and is unable to stay in their homeland owing to such fear. The 1951 Refugee Convention, which outlines the legal protection, rights and assistance a refugee is entitled to receive, was signed thousands of years after God mooted the concept and practice of asylum seeking, as is explained in Joshua chapter 20, verses 1 through 9. Just as the 1951 Refugee Convention stipulates the legal protection rights and the entitlement of refugees, the Bible records the gift of life afforded to every sinner and the protection for et from eternal damnation and the new life that is found in Jesus Christ. According to the Bible, Who were supposed to seek for asylum? Who qualified to become a refugee in the city of refuge? The Bible says anyone who had killed someone accidentally or unintentionally, God had commanded the leaders of Israel to designate six cities as cities of refugee. The three cities were on the eastern side and the other three on the western side of the Jordan River. The names of the cities and their names were Kedesh, which means sanctuary, Golan, which means rejoicing, Ramoth, which means uplifting or heights, Shechem, which means shoulder or strength, Ebeza, which means fortress or defense, and Hebron, which means friend. It is of vital importance that there were three cities on each side of the Jordan River, which made it accessible for anybody running away from the Avenger of Blood. The Avenger of Blood was the closest relative of the deceased person seeking to revenge. So the main slayer, who is the person who would have killed somebody accidentally would be running away from the blood avenger. Once the main slayer set his feet or his foot in the city of refuge, any of the city of refuge, his life would be spared. He would be safe from the attack and the retaliation by death from the avenger of blood because he had rushed to find sanctuary, safety and security in the designated city, city of refuge.
And I was wondering to myself, as I read the text, who needs a place of refuge amongst us? Who needs a place of refuge amongst us? Millions of people here in the United Kingdom are living in their motherland. Do we need a place of refuge? Yes, we do. I was wondering what you think about your present or your future. Do you feel anxious, afraid, or vulnerable? Are you feeling guilty or suffering from shame because of what you have done or gone through? Do you feel lonely and hopeless? If you feel that way, you are not alone. For the Bible states that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. This means that every one of us needs to be forgiven and restored to a spiritual state that God intended for us. The good news is that we have somewhere to run to for us to receive forgiveness and enjoy the benefits thereof. Jesus is a type of the seat of refuge. And anyone who places his faith in him for the forgiveness of sin will enjoy peace, joy, hope found in him. Proverbs 18.10 states that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are safe. Safe from unparalleled sin. Safe from guilt and shame. Safe from eternal condemnation. When we look at the six cities that were designated as cities of refugee, was there any significance, was there any meaning to the names of the cities? According to old Jewish tradition, to Jewish practices, Names of people and places depict the qualities that parents desired their children to have or speaks of personal experiences, historical happenings, attitudes to life and cultural ideas and values. The names of the six cities speaks of what the cities offered a refugee which is sanctuary, joy, uplifting, strength, defense, friendship, communion, and fellowship with others within the city of refuge. This moment in time, we will now listen to a hymn 248 from Singing the Faith. I heard the voice of Jesus say,
We shall hear our last reading, Bible reading. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verse number 28 to verse number 30. Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Some years ago, I applied for the renewal of my leave to remain visa. But I did not get a response for my application until after nearly eight years. I had tried and I tried everything I could to get the response, but I wouldn't have it. I only came to know that the delay in response to my application was due to the fact that my folder had been misplaced and was no way to be found. My family was still in Zimbabwe and without a visa, it meant that I couldn't visit my family for nine years. This one was, this one, this was one of the most difficult times of my life. I was so lonely, homesick, worried and anxious as I endured eight years of pain and uncertainty. What kept me going during those dark years of my life was the comfort, peace, joy and hope I found in Christ. I was strengthened and enjoyed the fellowship and communion with believers as well. My faith in Jesus sustained me as I sought for a daily walk and fellowship with him. For me, it is through this experience and many other experiences that I can safely say that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. I found confidence, safety, and my hope was kept alive in Jesus and through Jesus. All I need to remind us today is that God in his love sent his son Jesus Christ into the world so that anyone who is weary of life and burden may run into the city of refuge with Jesus Christ for safety and security. In these times of uncertainty and always, Jesus offers friendship, fellowship, joy, strength for daily living and hope for the future. Jesus is inviting us to take his yoke and learn from him. He is humble and gentle, and in him every troubled soul can find rest. Let us pray. Loving and forgiving God, we thank you for the offer of forgiveness and eternal life that is found in your Son, Jesus Christ. We accept you, Lord, as our place of refuge. 
help us as we seek to develop a genuine friendship with you that keeps our hope alive. May you give us your peace, your joy, and strength so that we can live for you. Amen. We'll close by listening to hymn 322. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds. Before we listen to it, I'd want to say a big thank you to Gail and Sheila for helping with the Bible readings for today. 